Another person has died in an avalanche in Colorado's backcountry, the fourth in the past two weeks. A solo skier died after being buried in a slide on Berthoud Pass yesterday. Our Jacqueline Quinn joins us live now. And Jacqueline, with fresh snow and more people heading to the backcountry for the holidays, experts are concerned about those conditions. They are, and we just heard Dave talk about it. We're getting a little bit more snow. People are excited. They want to head up to the mountains, but uh, these experts are really warning people to pay attention to the steep uh, slope areas that you're going to be frequenting and also the condition of the snow because, really, it is prime out there in some spots for an avalanche. Just a few movements, and all of a sudden, the snow surface cracks in the Sawatch Range. This was taken by Jason Konigsberg, a forecaster with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. And um, I walked a little further and was on this big flat area. And what I did was I jumped up and down to see if I could trigger the avalanche. Because um, you get from jumping up and down, you can collapse. It's like this in much of the backcountry. The main story so far this year is we've got a really uh, bad snowpack structure. Brian Lazar with the CAIC explains there are pronounced weak layers, making it easy to disturb. It's easy to trigger avalanches from a distance, even from some distance away, or even from the bottom of slope. So you can trigger avalanches even if you are standing on lower angle terrain, but there's connected steeper terrain above you or adjacent to where you're traveling. These conditions may remind you of what happened in March of 2019 when Colorado saw historic avalanches. Um, that was happening all over the state. And so what was much different about that was the avalanche conditions were so dangerous and so in your face, most people simply avoided the backcountry. Currently, the CAIC rates half of the backcountry forecast a three out of five on the danger scale. Experts advise not to go on slopes steeper than 30 degrees. Like I think for everybody, um, the video shows that uh, we have some unstable conditions and potentially dangerous um, avalanche conditions in a lot of areas. So just get the forecast before you go out. And also to have the right gear, Lazar talked about some things that you need to take out there, an avalanche transceiver and a probe. These things help pinpoint a person that may be in distress and, of course, a shovel in case you need it or possibly to help a friend out. For now, reporting in Morrison, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First. Thank you, Jacqueline.